Making this unique pouch shape is a piece of cake. All you need to do is grab the fabric, add a zipper to it, flip it over, attach a handle, turn the fabric, fold both sides, finish the edges, turn it inside out, box out the bottom and voila you've got yourself a cute and stylish pouch hello crafters welcome to anjurisa's crafting room recently i've been having fun making pouches they are great for keeping our stuff organized in this video let's try some different shapes instead of the usual squares and rectangles without any further ado let's go ahead and get started let's begin by making the handle it's a handy addition for easy carrying of your pouch. I'm using cotton fabric for this, measuring 8 by 2.5 inches. If you prefer a quicker option, you can use ribbon instead. Fold the fabric to the center, then fold it in half. Secure the handle by sewing two lines along the edges. I'm using my golden thread for the entire project. It's a small detail that adds a touch of beauty to the pouch. If you prefer to use your regular thread, that's perfectly fine. After making the handle, let's set it aside. Prepare a zipper measuring 8.5 inches in length. We are going to attach a tab to the zipper, which measures 1 by 2.5 inches. However, you can actually skip making the zipper tab. I'll show you the difference in these pouches, one with the zipper tab and another one without using the zipper tab. It's a small decoration that you can choose to skip if you prefer. Place one piece of fabric under the zipper and another piece on top of the zipper. We are going to sew this part together. After this, flip the fabric over to the other side and we are going to stitch along the edge to secure it in place. Get a lining fabric measuring 18 by 9.5 inches with the right side facing up. Remember to differentiate between the front and back sides of the zipper. Lay the zipper with the front side facing up. Next, get the main fabric with the same measurements as the lining right side facing down. Then sew all layers in place. For easier sewing of the zipper, use your zipper presser foot. When sewing halfway, lift the needle down, lift the presser foot, and move the zipper head to the other direction. This method allows us to sew a straight line. After sewing the zipper, flip the fabric over. I'm using canvas fabric that doesn't need much ironing. I can just press it with my bare hands. Then top stitch this part to secure the zipper. This zipper foot allows us to adjust which side we want to use. Repeat the same process on the other side of the zipper. Fold the lining fabric to the other side of the zipper, followed by the main fabric. We are going to sew this part. Turn the fabric inside out. And we are going to top stitch once again. We are going to attach the handle that we made at the beginning. Fold the fabric in half. Then mark the exact center. From the mark, measure 3 quarter inch to the left and right side. Take the handle and place it right next to the mark we made. Use fabric clips to secure it in place. Sew this part to secure the handle. Thank you. 
Next, let's zip the zipper halfway. Then turn it over. Position the zipper in the center of the fabric. Fold the fabric towards the zipper. Secure it in place with fabric clips. Then we are going to sew along the edges. I'll trim it slightly to remove any frayed edges. Then prepare a scrap fabric measuring 2 by 7 inches. Place the scrap fabric with the right side facing up on both edges of the fabric. Please excuse the contrasting fabric, I'm just using leftover fabric I have. Well, it will be hidden inside anyway. Fold the excess fabric, wrapping it around the pouch, and secure it with pins. Secure it by sewing this part in place. Flip the fabric over. Then fold it twice to finish the edge. Repeat the process once again on the other side. Even though it's hidden inside the pouch, I want to attach my label. So whether you're adding your own label for sale or for any other reason, you can attach the label now. I will attach the label here. Then we will sew this part. Because we left the zipper open a little, it will be easy to unzip it here. Then turn the fabric inside out. If you enjoy DIY projects, consider subscribing and turning on notifications. Your support truly helps me continue creating content. If you have a specific project in mind, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. The final step is to box out the bottom so that this pouch can stand up nicely. Using the zipper tab as a guide, we are going to pinch the side of the fabric here and secure it with a fabric clip. Repeat this process once again using the zipper tab as a guide, pinch the side of the fabric and secure it. I want to make sure that the box shape is symmetrical so that the pouch can stand up nicely. To finish this, sew along the bottom to create the box shape. That's it! Our lovely pouch is finished! Thanks for following along with this tutorial. If you found it helpful, consider liking and sharing this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. See you in my next video. Bye!